What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to add event, event notes. Now this is for the source code version. You cannot do this without the without coding. Um, I might do a no code Lua version at some point, but for now, no. Um, first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to find charting state.hx, and you're gonna want to go to the event stuff array. Add a comment to the last event. And add those little box things. And name it your event's name. Let's just do event example. So this will be what shows up in the event list. Then you're going to want to make a new string. So these need to be wrapped in these. These need to be wrapped in these. And it should say it should say what value one does. So let's just say I don't know. Then you're gonna wanna do backward slash n. And then value two if your value two does anything. And then backwards n to show what you wait, actually you want to actually um put something at the start, which would be what your event does. It does nothing. Then do slash n. But I do already have an event ready. Or just an example. So we're gonna be making a sound player. Play the sound. And obviously all you need is value one which is gonna be whatever the sound is called in the sounds folder. So yeah, this is the general format I used. Go into play state next and search for trigger event notes until you find the public function. Then do switch event name. And just do case your thing. So sound player, I do believe. Yep. And then you want to copy this. And then if your event uses a value two as well, copy that and change this to value two. But mine doesn't. And here's where you would do your event. So generally you would probably want to do if um, value equal equal to one or something, then it'll do something, but that's not the kind of event we're going for with this. We want it to play a sound based on the value. So I would just do let's G sound play and then the value on string which is sent by the player in the chart editor. Um obviously this is not a, a normal use for it. Um you'd usually wanna if and die and all that, and then you can just write the code in there and it will all work. It'll just all play when the event note happens. Alright, once you're in the chart editor, go ahead and go to your events, and you should see your event on the thing now. You should also see your event's description. Let's say at the start, uh, let's say there, and it'll play angry. It'll just play that a few times, and then let's go into the sounds. Let's say it'll do charting tick next. Bit of charting ticks. And then 
Let's just see what it does. As you can see there. Actually, let me turn off my volume a bit so you can hear it better. Three, two, one, go! Alright. So, there you go. I will not be covering any other events. Um, I could do more examples, but honestly, I just don't have the time to try and mess around with it. Um, might make a no-code video on this soon, not sure. Anyway, bye guys! <laughs>